Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So we're slowly tearing apart the Reaper forces. The Night Gods are now moving back into the city to take on a large element that's been spotted somewhere in the center of the city. Architecture. Alright, well here we are, we push Let's forward into the city. So this is a three and a half skull assassinate mission against the Hanseatic League. Now, if the last um, mission with the Night Gaunts, or sorry, the uh, Dragon's Rejects has anything to do with it, we'll probably get, it's saying two lances plus the leader, we'll probably get a couple of more. I couldn't, the only place I could set down was like right here, and then there was a small spot back here, so they've probably got multiple lances throughout here. And I guess, uh, who's this? Rose wanted to come in down in a red, <laughs> in a pink rose uh, mech. So we're running eight mechs today. And there's been a change to the lineup. I've gone ahead and done a bunch of updates to some of the mechs. Brought some mechs forward. So uh, we'll just kind of go through it as I'm kind of going along here. So Red, Blade's going first. Off. I got a feeling we're at the edge. Are we at the edge of the map here? We are. So we can't really go that way. we got to go this way. That's right. I tried to choose a spot that was like like in a corner here because we got we were otherwise we'd have guys all around us. There's guys here. They wanted us to drop here, but then over here there's mechs, so we would have been surrounded to start. So I decided against that. Alright, let's move blade up here. Let's go this way. And get started here. <clears throat> so Blade's running the storm close again. He's got the MRM thirty version of the Storm Crow. We do have two of them now. And we got aye Chinstrap aye. is running the second Stormcrow with the PPC and LRMs. So let's get her up. We're not going to shoot on the in initial Fire. turn. We're just going to move up. If there's a lot of if there's a lot of max. The low it's going to give us low chance to hit, and we don't have a lot of ammo for some of our weapons, so we've got to be careful. And then we got Rose. So several people. I can't. Sorry, terrible with names. You guys know me mentioned that uh, Rose was doing well in the Cloudbuster and that we got to get her something. So I got another Nova put together. Um, we got a pair of large lasers on this thing and a couple of LRM 15s. So hopefully she's going to hit well with these pair of larges. Now I do have an improved large laser, which is basically a large laser, except that it's like one ton lighter. That's all it is. So it's just, so whenever you see I large laser CE, it's just a lighter version of the same large laser. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the only difference. So we got her with a couple of large lasers. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll pan out for her. We'll bring him up here. Bring her up here. And then we've got. She might as well brace. I don't want to pull out too far. I don't want them to get us early shot off on us here. All right. Then we got Slingshot, who is running the second Nova. Now we did have a pair of Ultra Fives on here. We did lose one of the Ultra Fives. Um, and an ER medium laser. So I took out the, the small and the micro laser in the center torso, put an ER medium laser back in, and replaced the Ultra 5 with uh, an ATM 9 and 3 tons of ammo. So we got 1 ton of high explosive and 2, ton of, two tons of standard ammo. Um, so, it, I mean, it's still a little less uh, powered up than it was last time. The pair of Ultra 5s put out a fair bit of damage. Um, but as far as heat sinking goes and everything else, it's still running really well. I'm interested to see how the ATM-9 goes. Okay, and then we got what Igor, or Igor. She was running the Grendel before, but I've put her in the Kit Fox. It's the lightest mech we have right now. Um, so I put her in the Kit Fox for now, just so she can get some experience. It's the old, it's Slingshot's old mech with the medium pulses and the rockets. Um, I felt that it, for the city fight, that would be a little better than a Grendel. Max speed, no shooting. Only because the Grendel's got the limited range. And I got a feeling in this battle, we're not going to be in point blank. We're going to be shooting from range. We don't want to We don't want to mess it up, like get in and, and mess around with them too much. That's a lot of vehicles. Either that or it's a fast vehicle. Alright, what do we got next here? So Hotwire, still piloting the Cougar. Pair of LRM-10s, ER large and medium. That hasn't changed at all. And let's switch up the AMS. We haven't been shot yet, so we're alright. Um, let's just put you in the middle of everybody. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Get some use for that AMS. If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Is this where you would put it, Darius? 
And then of course we've got our uh, standard loadout here with our uh, let's go with standard. Um, let's go. With, yeah, let's go. Elk, mm, let's go standard first. Yeah, so we got the loadout on the vulture here. Hasn't changed at all. Move up. I'm liking the loadout on the other vulture and for the dragon's rejects, the the pair of ultra fives and the uh, two large lasers. We haven't been blessed with a lot of um, ACs in this particular playthrough, so um, so yeah, we're kind of missing that. Now I did bring a, a, a Hellbringer forward. It's repaired. I just haven't got anything uh, put in it yet. I'm trying to. I want to get an LBX20 because it's got LBX20 ammo in it already. Okay, so uh, we were talking about the pirate AC5s, and um, Fist of Dorn mentioned that um, it would probably be good to put it in a heavy mech. But by the time I read that comment, I had already put it in the Talos. So the Talos is up and running. It's a 50 tonner. Um, and it's, uh, it's because it was Omni, it was able to carry a uh, auto cannon in each arm. So we got a pair of um, medium laser magnets, uh, bolt on incendiary rockets if we need them, and the two AC5s. Now these are pirate AC5s. We got standard and incendiary ammo with these. So I'm hoping we can get this thing into some good action. Now it's, it's designed, it's carrying an AM, AMS Mark II as well. Um, so it's designed to just kind of hang back a little bit. Um, it's got full armor, but it's designed, designed to basically hang back and just choose targets to overheat. Those mechs that we want to uh, um, go after and pull their legs off of. That's what it's designed for. Alright, where do you go? Orders. We want to do some scouting, so we're going to get right up into here. Double time. Let's go. Because hopefully we can move out next turn and get a lot of shots on it, one or two single targets and take them down early. Now, uh, what do we got over here? Urban tank. Is it the... What version is that? Oh, that's the uh, S SRM LRM version. Got a swordsman. And a ferret. That's pretty good armor. What's the armor on this again? Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Uh, let's just take a pot shot. 31. 34. Take a pot shot at the ferret with the ER. Alright, it's got AMS. Good to know. Alright. I don't like the fact that we'd be doubted here. So, I think what I want to do is I want to try and clean these guys up from up here if I can and continue along this way. Because I got a feeling if we get caught down in here when they show up, they'll get a little bit of a height advantage, but they'll have us basically in a cauldron here, and I don't want that. So, good to go. Let's get up. Let's get Blade up here. We need to get a little closer. So let's get you up into here. Aye, aye. All right, we got more sensors on. So we got a mech down there. What else do we have over here? J. Edgar. So it's not that bad. Saladin. Plainsman. Okay, it looks like we're getting a bust here for uh, for enemies. What do we got over here? Or an Orion. Oh, King Crab. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. A Mackie? Alright, well that's an interesting uh, set of units. What else do we got here? A Cougar? Okay. 20... 22... Everybody else is out of range. We're at long range here, so it's a bit of an issue. 15, eh? Um, might as well front load the Warlord. You got an AMS, but it doesn't do well against... Incendiaries, or... Uh, MRMs. So I wonder if we target you. I think so. Let's go with improved. Roger. To improve our chance to hit. <laughs> yeah, I only got three of them. Okay. Who else do we got here? Standing by. Well, the benefit of them having a lot of vehicles is that they, uh, Get into here. Is that they um, will go relatively a lot, like fairly slower than us. Most vehicles go fairly slowly. Wow. 
A little better on you. Wow, okay. I think we know who our target is. Uh, I'm going to save the incendiaries. I want to overheat people later on to get some parts. So let's just shoot this guy up. Confirm. Yeah, we should be able to cook most of these guys off. Swordsman, I don't really care about right now, but... You got peeps. Alright. Good to know. We got a stink ton of AMS, so... You're warm. Not that warm, though. Be a good mech to try out the pirate AC5s on, that's for sure. We're gonna burn our AMS fast. Well, shot down 26 of them though. Can't complain about that. So, King Crab parts unfortunately doesn't help us. Damage, Commander. Holding firm. They will be done. All right, Legion. Can you get up there? Can, but I'm so tired of shooting my own guys in the back. That's the pirate AC-5s. We want to get on that cougar. Where the fuck is he? Right over there. I'd be shooting straight past the Stormcrow. You know what? Let's go over here. And let's go after this guy. Okay, pretty good chances to hit. Switching to incendiary, we'll do a lot more damage. Targeting. 91 damage, that's pretty good. Let's get the Warlord on this. Hopefully we can get a confirmed kill here. And firing. Confirmed. I feel kind of dirty using inner sphere weapons, but this is kind of an inner sphere mech, so... It's all right. It's an it's a cultural appropriation. <laughs> Culturally appropriated the Talos to uh, be able to fight for us. I know I probably shouldn't care, but like I said, like before, ooh, you got a bunch of LBX fives or something. Taking minimal damage. Or oh, probably pepper box rifles. Pirate Saladin. That's interesting. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, who do we want? So their mechs have already gone. So let's go after the people who haven't gone yet. You haven't. It's not bad against you. You could get the kill on this guy, but I think somebody else could. We've got a pretty good shot at this guy, I think. Plus, we can get the narc on. So let's go this way. Let's hit that damn PPC again. We're missing with that PPC a fair bit. We have all those good chances to hit. Somebody's blowing some shit up over here. Commander? All right, throws us. Show us what you can do. Hmm. That's a direct line of sight. Let's give you that uh, urban tank. Actually, who's more dangerous, the ferret or the urban tank? Do we know what you've got? It's a lot of energy and missile. You've got two LRM 15s. Way better chance to hit, though. Uh, let's save the warlord for later. We got a pretty good chance here. I think this should probably do it, though. Yeah, it's pretty darn close. So let's just fire on this guy. Hi. There we go. That last one flying in. Vehicle down. Targeting the crew that's trying to bail out. Sorry about that, guys. No prisoners. 
What are you launching? Probably a thunderbolt or something. Standing by. Probably a thunderbolt. What do you think, buddy? You think you can shoot pe through people? You think you got enough juice to shoot through everybody? I think you do. Got a narc on this guy. He's got a sensor lock on him. Don't miss. Well, that's actually a pretty good chance to hit. What's the HE like? Yeah, can't even target him. Alright, firing. Nice. I'm losing armor bad. That still hit our guy. For sakes. What'd you hit her with? Laser? Probably. Oh shit, what's that? I gotta first I gotta figure out what we got hit by. Medium laser probably. Is that a Talos? No, that looks like a uh that looks like our, uh, looks like a Mad Cat or a, uh, what's it called? Timberwolf. There's a, there's the guy that we want right there. That's their leader, probably. So that's the mech we're going to take out and overheat. Good to go. All right, Igor. Do we push that guy? Oh, that's the question. We could push him. No, you need to stay where we can target that guy. Affirmative. At least they don't have artillery. That's kind of the bonus. Okay, on this vehicle. And the pulse lasers should probably be more than enough. Okay, so he's got streaks, medium pulse laser magnus, so not that bad. Special delivery. Nice. I was worried there for a second it wasn't gonna Knocked out a vehicle. Wasn't gonna blow up. Alright, who do we got left? Two people left. What can I do for you? Hot wire. Get you up here. This cougar is a nuisance, so let's go after that guy. We've got a side shot. Come on. Nope. Ah. Uh, Sure. Alright, a little bit of damage in the leg. Oh, you got AMS too, eh? Alright, whatever. Alright, we got... Okay, so let's just move up... Standing by. ...to... ...here. Acknowledged. It's not very far, but I want to stay hidden from those other guys. And we're going to do the same thing here. Going after this guy. Going after his leg with Wow, that bad, eh? Really that bad. Straight up shots twenty-five. Alright, well let's just shoot him with a bit, I guess. I guess. Okay, who's going first? Somebody on their side. We've got a 25. Wait. Never mind. Orders. <sighs> okay, do I want to go down here? We should be able to take this guy and hopefully both of these max out this turn. Not really worried about the pirates. Well, I am, but not a tremendous amount. He's got pepper box rifles, so it's not a big deal. Medium and SRM2, so he's not a big deal either. It's really just the Cougars. So let's get... You... Here... Keep the no buildings problem. between On us the and the heavies. Because I think I do want to wheel over and go after those heavies. Wow, they got some pretty good... Uh, def 
fence there. 30. Am I just missing proper, I'm missing a proper targeting computer on that guy, this guy, I think. I think that's the problem is. Plus this guy's really a medium range brawler and he's being expected to do longer range stuff. All right, whatever we don't hit on the cougar, hopefully will <laughs> spill over onto the swordsman. Oh, we got a vehicle over here. Somewhere over here. That's the Plainsman LRM. Like another one over here somewhere, I think. Just can't see yet. I hear ya. Want to go for a kill shot in this guy? We could go with the tandems. Or... I'm liking these odds. Let's get down here. That's what this mech is designed for, to close anyway. And Igor is used to being in this close, so... Let's go after an OP on the cougar here. Go after an OP on the cougar here. It's the cougar, right? Yeah. 40%. We'll take it. It is a pirate cougar though, so should I be really that concerned? I mean, it's got an XL engine, so we might get some sea bills for that. We got 523 salvage off this, so it's pretty nice. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Commander. That brings us in pretty good range. We're just going to shoot way. on this guy's side. I'm not going to. I'm not going to OP this shot. Just go after the side on this guy. That's some good damage to that leg, though. Ooh, might get the leg. Nope. Did good damage to Target's it, though. Taking a critical hit. We should be able to pinpoint that leg off. Okay, we need to get the Talos into position here. Can you get down that ramp? Probably. No, you can't, because you're up high. Should have put that jump jet in. I hear you. Just don't know what to take out. That's the problem. Okay, get into here. On my way. Bring that AMS forward a little bit. And then this one I think we can OP. Leg. Leave these off. Just go with the lasers. Did we get the leg? We got it. Okay. Powered ATM 6 there went off. Went down. We would have gotten him earlier, I think, if we had just not been... Uh, that's a Timberwolf. Oh, and he's in range now, too. Well, that's not good. That's not good. I'm here. I don't want to engage him just yet. Let's move down off the ramp. We're, it looks like we're going down. We can always go back up and around the ramp and around the corner. Uh, okay, not bad. Really good on this guy. Do I want to try and pull the leg off this guy or do we just kill him? Go for the leg shot. Copy that. Yeah, fuck. Oh well. Boom, you're dead. Torso. That's a kill. Gotta get him off the board. Now that Timber Wolf's in play, he's gotta go. He's got to go. Talos is out of position. I knew it would be, but I was hoping we'd have more turns to get it back into position. But it's gonna take a turn and a half. No big deal. By the time it's back, it'll start engaging the guys on this side anyway. That's that uh, plainsman. Okay, we're gonna be out of aim. Well, we got a double load of AMS on the. Um Do we want to go for a back shot in this guy? How much armor does this guy have on his back? Ooh, not that much. 
Get around behind him. I might be able to just hound this guy with the, uh, with the bandit. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Take that. We're gonna hound this. We're gonna hound the sword. The bandit's got the swordsman. Yeah, there, I knew there was another vehicle over there. What is it? Bidet? Merkiva 8. Okay. What's up, boss? Okay, let's start getting rid of some of these guys up front here. I know these are limited weapons and stuff, but they're just an issue for me. Let's just get rid of them. Let's switch to uh, HE. Alright, that's pretty that's respectable damage. Not bad for a 50 tonner. I'll take it. Took half his armor off anyway. He goes on 20. Holy crap, he's fast. Did he not go? I'm receiving you. Let's get you back over on this side. Full sprint it is. On my way. Devil time. That AMS back over here. Uh, it's still jammed. He says and then it completely unjams instantly. Funny thing is, is I'd love to be able to uh, use that uh, as a way to get what I want. But then as soon as I try to do that, it... Uh, <laughs> It just won't follow through for me. Uh, I wonder what our chance to hit here is. It's not bad. This guy's armor is what? 121 in the front, 79 in the sides. If we get a good shot in the side, it's all over for him. But I think we go after this guy. I'm going to leave the narc off for now. We got lots of ammo, so we're good with everything else. This is fire. I missed. I didn't see the PPC hit. Doesn't matter, though. He's dead. He's a smudge. Alright, so we got, what, three guys back here that we know of. Four on the right, and one, one down here. Yes, Commander. Okay, do we... How long is it going to take? It's going to take a bit. I'm going to go with my original plan. We are going to rotate back this way. On my way. Double time. I want to take these heavies out first on this on the right flank. I know the Timberwolf, I mean, we could go straight for him and take him down, but then we're going to be flanked by the heavies, and I would rather go after the heavies first and be flanked by one mech. You know, rather than being flanked by four. Waiting for orders. Pedal to the metal. The bandit's going to handle the swordsman. Should be no problem for the bandit, I don't think. I don't know if I want to, like, I guess we could try and get King Crab parts, but I, I think I really want the Timberwolf. Thanks for spreading that damage around a little bit. Commander. Let's go, buddy. Maximum speed. We got shit to do. We got assaults to kill and, and heavies to kill. I couldn't think of something good to follow that up with, so I just went with what I went with what I had. All right, gonna move over to here. Here we go. We're gonna lob some missiles over onto that, uh, depending on what the chance is, onto the Saladin. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll drop them on there. Engaging target. Can't hurt. Soften them up a little bit. Waiting for order. All right, Rose, back it up. I know you're hot, but. Roger. This mech does run hot. We'll use our missiles on this guy and leave the large lasers off for now. Dropping that heat. Um, since it'll be a few turns before we'll need it again, we'll drop it on this guy. 
All right. Not bad. Yeah, you run away. You know we're coming for you. Ooh, drop an acid on the bandit. Barely hit, Commander. It's alright. You're gonna be in a position where you don't have to worry about that guy next turn. Well, theory in theory you won't have to. Find out soon enough. I pity the first heavy mech that comes around this corner though. It's just gonna be all guns on. So we got a few more episodes here in the city before we manage to take on Red Reaper himself. I want it to be a five skull. I'm not sure which of the two lances is, is going to be the one that uh, takes him on. I just hope it's a, regardless. I hope it's a good mission. Okay, we're gonna drop. Uh, oh, we can't drop it on that guy. That's interesting. Let's just hold off then. No point. Drop some heat. No point pushing it. What's up, boss? Yeah, these trees just don't like you, eh? That's not bad. On Let's it. get over there. Hovercraft just does not like trees. It gives us good evasion too, which is nice. Alright, 66%. It's not too bad. Yeah, this guy doesn't got much left. Taking a shot. Think I hit something good. Not gonna bail out, eh? Alright, wish I had swarm ammo, but oh well. What do you do, right? I really hope that's not a TBM twenty. Waiting on you, Commander. That could be very bad for us. Well, speed sounds good, uh huh. Pedal to the metal. All right. Nice. I'm your spaniel. All right, giant. Gonna move up. Since this is full speed, we'll just take a couple of pot shots with the AC. You might as well. Let's see what our chances to hit are. That's pretty good, actually. That's not too bad. This thing does warm up pretty quickly though with the uh, lasers on. Alright, we got one hit. Stressing him out a little bit. Alright, let's get moving. Yes, Commander. Alright, we still got a couple of turns before they get over that hill, so let's get to a point where they can't get into here. I'm gonna keep lobbing missiles on that salad and hopefully I can get that killed. Maybe I should go after the Merkiva. A Saladin's kind of out of play right now. No idea how much armor this thing's got. You know what? Well, it's only an LRM. Yeah, we got another nine turns of firing, so we might as well take some pot shots at this guy. Affirmative. Yeah, both of my playthrough, now that we have so many mechs, the one thing I am starting to, to uh, lack is good optics. I need to get more optics. Acknowledged. God, these storm crows are so fast. That's a walk. I can't wait to test out the uh, waiting for orders. The storm crow in. Um, let's get you up to here. Heading out. In the dragon's rejects, because that's our new scout mech. I did a bunch of uh, updates to the mechs. For that playthrough, let's switch you to standard. Is this thing in range? No, it's not. So we've got the Avatar and the uh, Warhammer now ready to, to be in battle for the next episode for them. I do have an Urban Mech episode recorded. It's probably going to be tomorrow's episode, maybe, or the one after. I don't know yet. Depends on what my time's uh, like. You. I know there's going to be some issues this week with timing. So I may not be able to record one episode one night. That's why I kind of got that in the bank. It's a standalone, it doesn't really revolve around, like, this area. 
of fighting, so I'll drop that when I don't have time to record. Get you over there. Who's left? I hear you. Get your LRM tens up. Full sprint sounds good. Uh huh. Let's get up here. Going turbo. It's gonna take us another turn to get over to where they are. Oh, maybe not. So this guy direct line of sight. Minimal damage on that hit. Is that direct line or is that? Uh, Indirect. Is that the Merkiba? It was. He might have a direct line. I think he's up on the up on the top now. All right. Well, we know who the next target is over there. Someone's gonna get a face full of fuck you in a minute. AMS doing work here, man. I'm telling you. I'm ready. Okay, get you up in a firing position. Yeah, as Talos is a little slow. So whatever we put on it has to be ranged. So I didn't mind putting the two AC5s. They're pretty heavy too. Like the AC5 pirates are 8 tons a pop. So that's 16 tons plus 2 tons of ammo is 18 tons already. Right? So... Looks like he's got some kind of stealth bubble going on over there. Oof. Penned. Can't take much more of that. Yeah, well, I should have been watching your heat gauge. Good to go. That's my bad. All right, he's already decided what he's doing over there, so we're gonna decide what we're doing here. See ya. Given everything I've got. Kill confirmed, Commander. God, I love this Kill. bandit. They're just so good. I mean, they're just great for harassment, you know. Standing by. Full speed sounds good. Oh, that's the arm that got hit too. That's not good. That's the regular large laser though in that arm. Yeah, the other ones. That, this is the good large laser here. All right, pull around to here. All right, let's move. Might as well. Um, uh, sure. Engaging target. Not my first choice, but why not? Keep him busy over there. I apologize to all the people in this building here. <laughs> that was nasty. Alright, do you have... You don't have a direct line of sight on that guy. So he must have been firing indirectly. Get into here. Let's see what our chance against this Merkiva is. 30. Uh, I think we're good. So he's got an LRM-17, heavy rocket launcher 20, yeah, we got and a pirate AC-5, so we gotta kill that guy, like, as soon as possible, so let's fire at him. Okay, the armor's not that great. Didn't check the armor when I was looking at it. I should have. Yeah, now I don't know. Alright, um. Good to go. What do you say, Blade? Get this shit going? Puts you in uh, assault range. I think that king Roger. crab could probably just come around the corner. Probably just. See if we can take this guy out. So, 192 in the front. So that's a fair bit of chunky armor. We'll strip that real fast. We will strip that really fast. Okay, who's up? Standing by. All right, CS. Let's get up into here. Like that. Copy that. Same thing. 
Right on this guy. Saving the incendiaries. Target locked. Someone's having a bad day. The Orion back there is not doing a damn thing. Hope it's not trying to LRM boat like it did in the last match. Nope. It's just deciding that it wants to be a dick. Yes, Commander. It's going to be a dick to his unit. Alright, that's fine. That's fine right there. I want to get my stability back before we move fully up with the Nova. So let's do this. I'm not spending uh, vigilance for it. So let's just drop some missiles on this guy. Structure's exposed. What can I do for you? And your stability's got a bit of an issue, so we'll get you into here and do the same thing. Don't need to tell me twice. Drop some on this guy. Here it comes. Hopefully, we hit the front. We'll see. Special delivery. That should do it. I feel Pop. bad about shooting the little guy. Don't. He'd have shot you right back. Waiting for orders. All right, same thing. We're gonna walk it as far as we can. Get our stability uh -huh. back. All right, we should be able to detect what the king crab's loadout is now. Nope, and we can't see what the Mackie's loadout is either. Okay, let's brace. As long as you want to play indirect fire, we're good with that. He, we haven't shot that missile down, and he hasn't hit us with it, so. Bye. How far can you get? Yeah, sure, it's fine. Right into there. Let's move. Counter jamming's up. So he what? He's got a Thunderbolt ten. Ooh, ah shit! Wrong playthrough. We need TBM t ten ammo on our other playthrough. Two heavy rifles, so they do sixty damage. 45 to regular armor, though, I think. Large laser Tronals with 40 damage, weapon minus one to hit. So, yeah, I mean, that's not a... That's a pretty heavy loadout. Thunderbolt 10 is like 60 damage, so... And the two rocket packs... Times 15 is like... What? Um, 60... 180 damage if they all land. So we gotta kill that guy fast. Alright, you're done. Yeah, we gotta take that guy down real fast. Yeah, that freaking thing is accurate, man. It's alright, she's not gonna be here much That's longer. That's yeah, alright, you're out of there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be up behind us in the next this turn, so... I should be able to get her... Well, the trees are gonna be an issue. Where is he, on the ramp now? Might be able to get her up here. If not, we'll put her behind the ra this ramp here, right in here, and then we'll drive up here next turn. Saladin staying out of the battle. That's fine. So how far can we get you? Yeah, we can't get you all the way up there, so we're going to tuck you into here. Face your armor. Moving fast. Pause right here. He shouldn't be able to shoot you there. Then we'll get you up the ramp next turn. Now that we've got a clear open space, you should be able to get up to here next turn. Okay, who's up? GC, as far as we can go. Alright, now who do we want to target here? Or do I? It might be worth getting an early narc on somebody. Don't know what the Mackie's running. Orion. He's in a good position to cover whichever way we go around. I'm thinking though it's going to be the King Crab. So we've got LK, Incendiary, Standard left. Let's go this route. Try and drop a Narc on him. Okay, we got, we got Narc on him. 
He's got weakened armor too because it's an older variant. He's probably got the old armor. Nova C. Get up to a striking position. And let's go. Yeah, we got standard ammo up. We might as well drop some on this guy. We got lots of standard ammo, so. Target locked. It's go time. Gonna hold off with the sensor lock till next turn. Alright, how fast are these guys? I have no idea. So what are we looking like here? 22, 21. Most of us are fast. Where's the vulture? 16. God damn it. Being in a heavy mech slows you down. Um, so we can't really come around this way. we got to come around this way, and then we're in the face of all three of these guys, unless we can get over here. But then that puts us... Well, maybe not. I don't know if this... Timberwolf, if he comes up here, I don't think he's going to be able to quite shoot us. Which means we can get over here and just deal with these two. Wow, we got side shots on the King Crab, though. Yes, Commander. I don't think we can not take that. I think we just do it. I think we've got the initiative for this. Okay, King Crab's going on 21. Do we just shoot him though, I think? I think we do. Work on getting some instability on this guy, I think is probably a good idea. Targeting for alpha threat. Okay, he's lost evasive. Which I don't think is saying much. Commander. CS. Tuck right in there. Go into full throttle. We do the same thing, we just shoot him. Copy that. Okay, PPC on, looks like. That's gonna hurt. We may be able to knock both of these guys over this turn. He's going on, is, is he gonna go before us? Yeah, he's gonna go before, no, we got 22 back here. So he's not quite ready yet. Orion's fast though. You. Pull up sprint. Confirmed. She's got enough missiles, I think, to knock that guy over, though. Not sure which one of these guys is running the ECM. Might be the Mackie. Uh, let's warlord this. Get as many shots on this guy as possible. Yeah, they got reduced armor, so we wouldn't have been able to strip the armor like the 102. Yeah. Roger that. Target confirmed. Ah, knock him over. That should do it, I think. Critical hit, come There it is. Okay, now. Waiting for orders. Now that their turn is done. Let's hold off moving you. What can I do for you? What do you think you could do? Let's get on this Mackie. Let's get on the Mackie. Ballistic and two energy. Let's give the Mackie the good fuck you here. We don't like you. Go away. He's got a really low instability threshold. Oh, no, he doesn't. All I'm looking here. Missiles, Commander. Okay, tags on. Commander. Get that AMS up here. Full throttle. Yeah, just a little bit out of position. Ready for orders. You're not though. Let's 
Get over here. Mackie's going on 16. Don't think the sensor lock's going to do a damn thing to this guy. Okay, we penned. Large laser's gone. Critical hit, Commander. Receiving you. Yep, that's good distance. Right to there. Going full speed. Nice. I think I'm getting the hang of this minimizing damage to our mechs. Yeah, I know, I know, I know saying that's basically giving me a death sentence, but uh, that's the Plainsman. Alright, so you have still got half decent stability, so let's go after this guy. And let's try for a crit. We'll just log some shit on him. Nothing. Alright, it's fine. I hear ya. Okay, you're out of position too. It's fine, we had to go for it. 50%. 37. Let's go with the better ch we're gonna save the warlord to for when we come around the corner. Uh leg or torso. Torso, because I, when he stands up, I don't want him shooting a lot of his stuff, Tell so... Yeah! Critical hit! We still got our Nova. Or, um... Not the Nova. <sighs> Gatekeeper. The Vulture. Now, the question is... Yeah, we tanked the Mackie. Or we, I mean, we, sorry, we tanked the King Crab. Yeah, we go after the King Crab. Now he's unsettled. He's taking two core crits too, eh? And he's just becoming unsettled now. Hopefully he fails to stand up, but I doubt that. Oh, we still got AMS ammo. That's a good thing. Minimum damage. This guy's nothing. All right, he's gonna unload everything on somebody. Damn it! I should have targeted him instead of the Mackie. That's my fault. Unless he tries to run. Nope. He's turning to fight. Here it comes. Mass working overtime. Losing armor left and right here. Thirty on a thirty-one hit. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. He used all of his uh he used all of his missiles and we shot all of them but one down. Commander. Holy crap. Yeah, man. Alright, um, You get the King Crab. Because you're all splash, and we might as well just rip his side apart. Let's just do it. Fire. See ya. Target eliminated. Okay. What can I do for you? Mackie's next. We've already damaged it. We might as well go after it. Full out shoot it, please. There goes his torso. There goes the mech. Gotcha. Alright, Orion's turn. 
comes the mad cat. He used to, he, he ain't got nothing. Oh, yeah, Sorry, right. Timberwolf. Keep calling it a mad cat. On the move. What's up, buddy? I think he's got he's one got evasion. Yep. He had one evasion. Damn it! Well, it's a lot of missiles hitting them. Like, ooh! Okay. One left target. I wonder if he had his ammo stored there. Aye, aye. So I don't understand why you put your ammo in the leg. We'll go. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to read the comments from the last episode, so I don't know if what people have mentioned about that. Why would you? Why would you want to put your ammo in the leg? I don't quite get that. Target confirmed. Maybe if you're not using case, sure, but unless you're talking like machine gun ammo, well, even then, machine gun ammo, it all does one, even if it does one damage per pop and it goes off. Okay, wait a minute. I got to think here. So that's the left side. Okay, do this way. Moving at full throttle. Um, even at one damage per pop, even if you had like you know over half your ammo left, it's still a hundred points damage. Like, why would you want to risk that? Like torso or leg, it re it's really irrelevant. Scored a critical hit. And if you're carrying bigger rounds like AC20 or AC10 rounds, it might, doesn't really go. matter where you put those fucking things. They're just gonna blow up anyway. Okay, let's get into here. Double get time. you in the strike position. Ready for orders. Alright, the trick is gonna be taking this guy down. No shooting, just running. Without blowing him up. I should easily be be able to keep this guy superheated. Like I mean honestly, he should we should easily be able to keep him superheated. Now he can turn that corner and come and get me, so let's go ahead and um, let's just narc him. Oh, maybe not. It's got bolt-on flares, I guess. Or whatever it is, chaff or whatever it is. So, that's not good. Although he is almost in a position to come around that corner, we should just be able to move out here into a firing line and just overheat his ass. We got three mechs with incendiary missiles. We've got incendiary rockets and double AC pirate AC5s on the Talos. Like we should be able to put him completely into the red line unless he's got a prototypable heat sink kit in there. I think it's a pirate version, so maybe he does. But even then he's gonna be so hot. Like you have to fire the two PPCs. Which I'm hoping he does at the Vulture. I move, I move the Vulture out in front specifically for that. I want him to come out, see the Vulture, and go, Oh yeah, there's my target. Orders. Let's get you up here. Gonna get you against the vehicles once we uh, engage the mech. Now, on the, on the Nova, we've got two things of standard ammo and one of HE for the ATM. I was going to put extended range because I do have it on it, but then I'm like, we're going to be in close range most- Oh, got him. Nice. We're going to be in close range most of the time, so I would rather go with the higher damage ammo. Awaiting orders. Alright, um, I think we need to let him go. I think we need to let him do his thing. Uh-huh. I want to drop him in like one turn if we can. Here he comes. Nope. Ooh. Did not expect that. Reporting internal damage. Hang on there, Rose. He's loving you. Oh shit. That was not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's get you into here. Turn that off. Incendiary. Incendiary, incendiary, narc. Control bursts, which don't really matter, but I'm using it anyway. It just reduces the recoil, it's not a big deal. 
And yep. Narcs are attached. 19 heat. Yes, Commander. Not as much as I wanted. Okay, let's get you over here. Oh shit, not the best place to be. Alright, right there. We'll go. Get a firing line going. Alright, incendiaries only. Get the tag on them, hopefully. Roger that. Miss with the tag. We're not gonna overheat this guy. I await your command. Okay, get to there. Rolling. We need to hit with you. That's what we need. Okay, the AC chance is not bad. Cindery AC ammo, throwing that on, turning those off. Alright, let's see if he's got a prototype double heat sink kit. Let's hope we hit. Did we hit him with one? I think we did. 27 heat. I'm out of short range missiles. Don't know if he's got a pro heat sink kit yet, yes, though. Commander. Um. Stay out of the direct line of sight. Got it. No shooting. Just of our guys, so we don't accident accidentally hit you. Being up here should be enough, I think, to keep you safe. Switch to standard ammo, I think, on this guy. Mine dispenser and LRM-15. Nice hits. Who's up? Waiting on you, Commander. Pulse lasers. Not the best place uh -huh. to be. But at least it shields us from her. We're in we're on unstable ground here though. Let's go after this guy. Uh-huh. Wow, nice hits. No tag though. I can't take much more of this. Ah fuck, did I hear her in the back again? Swear to God. I do, sometimes I do more damage to my own mechs than the enemies do to me. Especially in the offline playthroughs when I'm like fighting like, you know, one skull, one and a half skull missions. Sometimes I accidentally hit like, you know, an eight, <laughs> a large laser to the back for 55 damage or something like that. Like ER large, I mean. Or a PPC, PPC to the back is like, I, I gotta like not do that. I just make sure I don't fire the PPC when I'm standing behind somebody. It's like a friggin' magnet. It makes perfect sense, though, if you think about it. There's that mine dispenser. Commander. Get over here. Moving fast. Hopefully that ultra will be unjammed and we can go after that guy's legs next turn, but we're going to shoot this, uh, this guy because he didn't move. Ooh, that's nice hits. Especially if only having twenty percent chance to hit. Waiting on you, Commander. Same thing. Now I hope us reserving didn't tank our initiative too much next turn. Most of our pilots are really good, so that doesn't affect us too too much. I'm receiving you. Yeah, you don't have incendiaries. Man, look at the damage. That's just played safe. Okay, drop it on this guy. You got so much resolve, it's ridiculous. Okay, finally got through the armor. Got past the armor. Who's up? Waiting for order. Blade. Right. Let's get into a position where I'm we can move there. out and strike next turn. So I think we gotta go for alright, Blade's up first. I think we gotta go. He's going on twenty-one. 
Do I give him a shot or do we try to make him unstable? Blade's going on 27. God damn, this guy's fast. We got 24. Who really can't expose. 23, 21. I think we got this. I think we got this. All right, Blade. Um, What's up, boss? Here. Roger that. I need you to just shoot at him. Just shoot at him. Actually, we're going to Warlord this. And don't put a PPC in my back. It's just going to piss me off. Well, you don't have PPC anyway, so that's good. Alright, the flare goes after these guys. I should put him over as unstable. Yep. Okay, now. Uh, now we can start, hopefully. Yes, Commander. But I want to pull... Wait, so your right side... I'm going to save you. Or do we want to just use our missiles? How bad is this guy damaged? No, we really want to get that guy, so let's reserve her. Commander. Let's go all in on this guy. Okay, so he's... <sighs> Do we go all in or we just try to heat him up? I want parts from the, I want this guy's parts, but I don't want to like... Let's go this route. Ready for orders. Ultra 5's ready. Okay, get into here. Because now we do this. This one's got 80, so let's go after the one with the weakest legs here. Chances are we're not going to hit it, but hopefully it pushes them back one turn. Ooh. Ooh. Reporting critical hit. We may get a knockdown here. We may get a knockdown. He's still going on 21. Damn it. Shit. My butt puckered. Through my armor. Relax, that's his, this is his last turn. This is his last turn. Let's try and shut his fucking ass down. He's not having a good day. I hope we get, I hope we can get him to bail. That would be the ultimate. If we can get three parts from this, even though it's a pirate version, I'd still be happy. We got the Mad Dog, by the way. It's repaired, or being repaired right now. The 60-ton vulture, basically the 60-ton vulture. But that's being repaired right now. So if we can get this, if we can get the Timberwolf too, That'll be nice. That'll get us the two our two light mechs can go. Then we'll be all fifty tons or higher. Which is pretty good. Now I gotta work on getting more vehicles. That's the thing too. We gotta get more vehicles. I wanna get another if I can get two more bandits, imagine three of these things. The backs well that guy's just he's like, fuck this, I'm gone. <laughs> he's like, I'm done. <laughs> these guys are all yours, buddy. I'm out of here. I don't blame you. Go away. Waiting for orders. All right, Rose. Uh, no. What can I do for you? Cougar first. We'll take the mine damage. You bet. Don't hit our own guys. Whatever you do. I think we leave the ER large out. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Hit tab because it's not going to give me the what I want. That. That. Then if we plink our own guys, it's not a big deal. Of course. Well, you know what this means. And I fucked up with the recording again. So I got partway through, of course, the mission. And yeah. 
the uh, recording stopped on me. I didn't realize it until after I was actually starting to work on the editing and nothing would save. I'm like, why isn't anything saving? And it was because the drive was full. Of course. Anyway, we finished the mission off without too much of a problem. That timber wolf went down. Um, which was really sad too because the ending was really awesome. Timber wolf went down. Um, because we had pummeled it with a whole bunch of stuff and I was trying to pull its leg off and then I thought oh, rather than just hitting it with a whole bunch of stuff I tried for a headshot with a tag and we shot it with the tag and the pilot ejected while he was lying on his back so we managed to salvage the whole damn thing so what I ended up doing was um, where is it here uh, yeah so we grabbed all three timber wolf parts now I had four Timberwolf parts from before. I had grabbed um, uh, the two Timberwolf pri uh, parts from a while back. I grabbed these two off of an offline play and then we picked up the three from the other day. So rather than putting the pirate one together, I put together the two um, clan ones. Now one of these, it was the pride version. I took one of the uh, pirate version uh, pieces and it cost me 1.15 million just to add the extra piece to this one. This one was only about 350,000 to add the piece to this one. So we've got two of these being repaired right now. Uh, the Hellbringer is ready to be updated. We've got one more day before the Mad Dog is, is ready to go. Actually, let's just go ahead and turn the day over. Might as well. Beautiful. Um, so uh, we've got six mechs currently because I dropped all the, the uh, other ones out. The the uh, financial report was getting it way out of hand. We're at 1.73 million right now, which is a fair bit. I pulled off another mission offline too to get us some C-bills. I was able to get three Klein XL engines, which put us up over 4 million. But like I said, after um, having to get these things up and running, we're down to like just being a little bit over the financial report right now. So we got 28 days before the end of the month. Should be able to make that up, no problem. Haven't decided how I'm gonna load these Timberwolves out yet. We do have a few things. Um, so what I ended up doing was I took the three I had five salvage, so I took the three parts, and then I got, um, if we go to components here real quick, I picked up, uh, let's go to equipment, what did I get now? I picked up the, there was, oh yes, that was what it was, there was a double plus exchanger that I was able to grab, and I was able to grab a, if it's in here, yeah, I haven't used it yet, advanced optics mark three. So those are definitely going to be being dropped into our mechs. These two, this zoom and advanced optics came off the the, um, the Kit Fox and the Cougar that we dropped out of the lineup. So we've got those for, for availability right now too. Uh, plus a bunch of other stuff. So um, yeah, we do have a bunch of options. I'm probably going to get this mad dog. Oh, did I outfit this already? I must have. What did I do with this? Why don't I rem remember doing this? Oh, right. That was what I did with this. Yeah, I didn't have a lot, so I thought I would try and get it into play relatively quickly. So it's got two ER PPCs, an LBX-5, Beagle Probe, and then prototype double heat sinks. So what are we looking for heat sinking here? Actually really good. A couple of bolt-on rockets, which I might change. Do I have a, I uh, don't have a bolt-on AMS. Oh well, that would have been nice. But I'll probably end up putting the, um, at least the Mark One targeting computer in here it might be the Mark Three. I don't know yet, but we'll get that in before this thing runs. Uh, so yeah, now I did take a, like I said, I took a mission offline. Let's put you under the fire support here. I did do a mission offline um, just to get those sea bills, and I'm finding like like it was a two skull mission against the clans, and I just took six mechs with me. Oh, no, did I take six or eight? six I think and it ended up being a good fight so I think what I might do since we're having like I'm struggling trying to find a good balance with higher skull missions and I'm kind of wary of taking some of them um, like the higher skull missions that I know we're gonna be challenging especially against the clans and word of Blake and um, Comstar at higher skulls because the larger land sizes and the vast um, improvement in the mech quality uh, it's going to cause problems. It doesn't mean I'm not going to take them. I am. Uh, I'm just thinking that maybe, you know, like for this next little bit, once we get, like, once where we're working on getting these updated, for the next few episodes, it might just be smaller lance sizes against um, 
lower skull targets, like lower skull clan targets or something, just to give us some interesting missions. So that's my next uh, goal. I also want to thank uh, the people that responded to, um, I guess it would have been the last episode, which was Monday, um, and the idea for the next series. I know there's a couple people already interested in um, um, working on getting a collaboration going. Uh, in some kind of battle series. I don't know how, I don't know, I'm still working out in my head. I, every day I keep thinking about it, how it would play out. Um, I'm not sure yet. It's, I think maybe it'd be some kind of battle map, right? And then each person would have their own unit or unit or, or like a unit on, somewhere on the map uh, and they'd be required to do a certain number of objectives. Maybe it's like, you know, uh, we set down certain rules. So we start off with our own lance. Um, so, and it's all going to depend on the scenario, right? Or what the starting would be. So if we're fighting for the Dr Draconis Combine, let's say, then we're all taking Draconis Combine as our starting. Um, and then other than that, anything goes for your starting. Um, so you can choose whatever you want as your, your background. So if you want to get a stock bushwhacker to start with, whatever it ends up being, you can just choose it. Um, but then we set the difficulty, like all the other stuff in the settings, all the difficulty will be fixed. And then... Um, we'll run certain, like we'll run missions, but we'll also agree that, like, let's say for the first half of the campaign or whatever we're doing, depending on the battles, right? There's no choosing mech parts, right? Um, out of the salvage, you can only choose components to upgrade your current mechs. So you'll be fighting with your current mechs for quite some time. And then whatever you get in, you know, your loose salvage, like mech parts and stuff, you can slowly start putting mechs together and then maybe we put this the number of parts per mech up to four or five or something so it takes a little while to be able to get some new mechs um but so i don't know like i i'm willing to hear ideas i'm thinking about starting um either a poll or i'm just creating a, a separate video that i'll put up on the main page um my main youtube page um, as the premiere video and then we can throw a whole bunch of comments on there or maybe I can start a discord I don't know yet um, It because it, for me like my, my timings for being able to monitor a discord and things like that it's extremely difficult I, I can't unfortunately I can't be reliable for things like that but um, for responding to comments on YouTube and things like that I think it's a bit more manageable but maybe I'm wrong maybe discord's a lot easier than that and it's easy to come up with a server and just bounce ideas back and forth but we'll come up with something that everyone would be happy with and then we'll just work together to, to build a cool scenario i'll build a map you know i'll record all that kind of stuff we'll get that going and then um yeah and then we can just kind of go from there um but yeah i think really right now the first thing is is um trying to get um see how many people are interested i know uh it was robert i think I believe robert hill and Todd, I uh, can't remember your last name, sorry, because you know me and names, it's horrible. Um, I was just looking at it today too, which is like ridiculous. Um, anyway, uh, there's there's two people that are interested in, in, uh, in uh, doing this scenario. And even if it ends only ends up being us three, that's fine, I don't care. Just do something. Um, but if there's more people that are interested, I'm willing to, to uh, do it with as many people. Like even if we had 50 people that wanted to do it, I could still come up with a, a map and a scenario that would involve everybody. So, um, and then, you know, the scenario I think could be agreed upon either by majority or by most people. Um, we'll just figure out something and then we'll just kind of come up with some kind of battle and, um, you know, have a massive battle, whether it's against the clans or for the clans or, or who knows what, right? Uh, or just, you know, periphery stuff or anything. Um, and then moving forward, like, and it doesn't have to be a long series. It can be just a short series, like 10 or 20 episodes. And then what we can do is... Um, just have different scenarios and just continue on with the, the idea where it's like, you know, we do the battle for this planet and it, that's fine. Then we start over and we do a battle for another planet. Or we can continue on with the same units and go jump to another planet and do a battle for another planet, right? As a continuation of the fight. Who knows? Um, but I'm interested to hear what people's comments are. Um, you can comment on this video, but like I said, I think I'll probably do this weekend, I'll probably do a video, video um, that we can all um, comment on and have suggestions for and I'll post it as the uh, the main video on my YouTube page. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I'm a bit scattered right now. I just kind of got home from work, and I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't get this episode out yesterday, but I was so tired last night, and then when I realized I, I truncated the end of the episode, I'm like, ah, I can't record anymore. I can't do it. So I'm just doing it today. Uh, all right, so um, yeah, 
Uh, if you enjoyed this episode or what's left of it, <laughs> drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.